Idesia. We announced the show on the Facebook page for Hiatus Coyote. They then put a post up saying like, hey, we're huge fans. If you're looking for an opener, we'd love for you to check our music out. I listened to the album. It took me about five minutes to realize this is really good shit. And I just threw the CD over at Brie, like check these guys out. This is amazing. DJ88 Abri sent us a message like, hey, do you guys want to open for a hiatus? Chris really likes you and I really like you. What do you think? Completely out of the blue and that was, and we were like, absolutely, that would be incredible. I didn't believe, I think he told, like, he contacted them and when they told me it was April Fools and so I was like, this is, this is a lie. This yeah. is not Don't real. Someone, April Fools. No, was it, it you? April Fools. No, and this dude, weird. this dude called me and said it and I hung up on him. I was like, dude, <laughs> like, yo, you're lying, really, dude. I'm trying to have a good night right now. Just leave me, leave me alone. And I hung up on his ass and then he texted me back and said, he's like, this ain't no game. I could not have dreamt up a better opener, sound-wise, vibe-wise, without even knowing any backstory to these kids whatsoever. It was strictly based on on the record. I need well, my drama, hi. my drama was like, it was so nice. You were amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. I'm, I'm gonna cry. Um, <laughs> I was so nervous because I'm like, I can't go up before you. <laughs> my dream. In so these circumstances, the opening band, you know, they go on it like, ain't nobody's here. It's they're playing for the, you know, fucking barbacks and like 10 fans and none of that happened. It was a packed room. They slayed their set. Hiatus Coyote came in and was able to catch like three, four of the songs at the end of the set. I'm standing in the DJ booth watching these kids perform and in the moment they're all looking at each other and they're like, this is really fucking happening right now. I just keep playing. Like, they're like, oh my God. Like, wh how does it get any better than that? What more, what more could you want? The Hiatus Coyote didn't even perform yet. I would have been okay with just that. The people that came for the show, and there was like 200 people in here for this show, came early. These kids sounded so good that there are people online waiting to come in, heard the opening act, Idesia, and was like, ah, oh, man, yo. Fucking hands, Coyote's already on. No. You want me, come please me. You need me, you got me forgetting all my love before. Don't you know, don't you know that you, you want me, come please me. You need me, you got me coming back for more. We've had many bands send us stuff, you know, and look, not everyone's destined for greatness, but I saw that in them. These moments are the moments where I'm like, I am so blessed to be able to pay it forward. I love music so much, and I have so many friends who are 
very successful musicians. But you all start out the same way. Everybody starts out the same way. In today's marketplace for music, it, it's it's that much harder. You know, I used to laugh in the 90s about payola this, payola that. Now I don't know what the fuck it works as. But, you know, something like that should be discovered. And if we're able to help them get their shine, then it makes me feel that good about a night where, you know, some people missed it and they shouldn't have. Thanks, big thanks to Brie and Chris, and stay tuned for hiatus. <laughs>